Detroit Red Wings defenseman Luke Watkowski's path to the National Hockey League was not an easy one by any means. It was full of ups and downs. To make a name for himself and to get the attention of NHL scouts, Watkowski had to fight. Literally. With an NHL total of 136 penalty minutes, 60 of those minutes deriving from 5-minute fighting majors, in just 102 games, he has shown he is one of toughest guys in hockey. Watkowski embarked on his NHL career when he was drafted by the Tampa Bay Lightning with the 160th overall pick in the 2008 NHL Entry Draft. With the Lightning, he played 54 games, registering 4 points and clocking 58 penalty minutes. Wachowski really embraced the role of an enforcer when he played with the Syracuse Crunch in the All. With the Crunch, he served as a captain in the 2016-17 season and was one of the leaders in penalty minutes each season. The most impressive season with the Crunch for Wachowski was the 2013-14 season. In that season, Luke had two goals, 10 assists and 204 penalty minutes. The 204 penalty minutes from Witkowski led the team that season and sent a message to the hockey world about Witkowski's grit. After the conclusion of the 2016-17 season with the Lightning, the Holland, Michigan native joined his hometown team, the Detroit Red Wings. As a member of the Red Wings for the 2017-18 season, Watkowski played 31 games, scored his first NHL goal and clocked 68 penalty minutes. In that season, Watkowski fought some of the toughest guys in the league like Michael Haley and Nick Ritchie. Next, Top 10 Toughest Red Wings Want Your Voice Heard? Join the Puck Pros team. Right for us. Currently, Watkowski is continuing his trend as a tough guy for the Wings as he has had two total fights in 17 games played. The 6 feet 2 inches defenseman is not a superstar by any means, but he serves a crucial role for the Wings. Watkowski brings a rare breed of toughness that cannot be learned or adapted. Luke's role has allowed his teammates to play with comfort and ease knowing that he will protect them if anybody tries to cross the line.